Well, hey everyone, this is Patricia and I am traveling for history. Wanted to uh, share with you a story about something that happened just the other day. And um, uh, be careful of people like this. So I'm here at home minding my own business because I was at home. And um, this guy came to my patio door. That's not my front door, but hey, it was my patio door. And he comes knocking on my door. I saw him because I was sitting in the living room. Chose not to answer the door because I don't have to. Plus, I wasn't dressed to answer it, the door. So um, so then he, he decided to leave. Now, he was walking away from um, my section of the building entrance, but then I realized he was coming back. So, oh, just my freaking luck. He came to my front door and boom, 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 boom. It's a steel door. You know, it kind of hurts the knuckles to uh, rap on it. Shucks. Gee whiz. Um, I ignored that too, but decided, well, all right, I'll get dressed so I can deal with this guy. Because God knows what he wanted. <laughs> um, so I went out my patio door to, um, and then he was coming out the front door. So that was good. I asked him, what do you want? Yep. Dispense with all the niceties because, you know, why bother? He said that he worked for a plumbing company and that he had done work in my unit a year or maybe two years ago. He left his flashlight behind and he had come to collect it. What? What kind of stupid garbage is that? And totally untrue. I had plumbing work done here, but it was back in 2017. Yeah, 2017. What a lame bunch of garbage that was. Is there anyone, is there anyone who thinks that uh, makes any sense? So this guy was, um, you know, this guy had a, like a beer belly, um, you know, gray hair. I would put him in his 50s. He had um, all that grizzle that, you know, the, it's like a five o'clock shadow, had its own five o'clock shadow, had its own five o'clock shadow, you know. It wasn't a beard. It was just, you know, scraggly stuff. He reminded me of a of an older construction worker who'd be in a group of construction workers leaning on a shovel telling everyone else how to do their jobs. Can you picture that kind of person? Can, do, can you envision that? That was the first thing I thought of when I saw this guy. And um, <laughs> I told him that he needed to buy another sh uh, flashlight because I didn't have his. <sighs> anyway, um, I did have a raised voice because uh, the stupidity just was overwhelming. Overwhelming. Just smack my head stupidity. A few hours later, I decided to call the police department because it was so out there and uh, definitely a scam. So I called the police department to um, got to go hold a dispatch and um, explain this. And he said, yeah, he said, I'm going to put this in the, um, in the watch uh, list. He said, clearly, he said, this sounds very much like a scam. So anyway, so the cops have a record of it. And uh, <laughs> I don't know what that guy wanted. Did he want to get in my home? That was never going to happen in a million years, not in a million years. So uh, kind of crazy stuff sometimes. Anyway, I wanted to share that story with you because it's, you know, kind of out there and it's <laughs> kind of fun to share stories like that. It's just, oh my gosh, it never ceases to amaze me, the stupidity. Some people think, well, maybe the, the people think others are, are so stupid and gullible, but I worked nine and a half years as a resident manager of a 50-unit apartment building. Oh my God, I've got story after story about that. Maybe I'll share some of those at some point, but uh it was a secure building. The the ludicrous stories I heard from people to let them in. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I said no. Do I have to call the cops? Hello. So uh, anyway, <laughs> thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate your patience as I've been mourning the loss of my cat and uh, Sargi and um, planning to get back into it uh, this week. So yay. Um, until I see you again. Have a fabulous day and don't fall for a stupid scam like that. Don't punch them as much as maybe you'd like to, 
but uh, certainly called the police and make a report. In fact, it could have been fun if I'd called the police in front of him and uh, told them about this. That could have been fun. But uh, anyway, on that happy dappy nope note, <laughs> nope, on that happy dappy note, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.